Oh no, this is, oh god, this is not what we wanted. 120 TV down versus Chofs. Big bad Chofs, Pista Kopu. He's a prime banger. He's got two Claw Pom and a Claw Mighty. What luck he has had with this team. That is outrageous luck. He's still only got two rerolls. 1860. Horribly TV efficient. Two guard Hobgoblins. What a hell of a team this is. Holy shit. Record not that good, actually. Not that good. 4 2 2 above this team. So the record isn't that good. But um, the team is just phenomenal, isn't it? Completely fucking phenomenal. This is uh, this is not nice. This is not nice. <laughs> I honestly lost so many times because you know once you get a high TV, you can easily lose, right? You could easily lose. I could win the toss and and. I could win the toss and just claw pom somebody, remove them, claw pom somebody, remove them, claw might you remove them, claw might you remove them, and then all of a sudden he's gonna draw or lose, isn't he? Or he's got a real good chance to draw or lose. Like it's very dicey at ITV. That's the kind of nature of claw pom, isn't it? And then obviously at low TV, chaffs haven't got a lot of strength, don't have guard for a while, and then uh, you know they're up against teams that outstrength them, and it, it's tough for them. Oh god, I thought I was going to concede. I don't want a fucking babe. Wizard. <laughs> yes, 130 scum, thank you. <laughs> I did. Oh dear. Thanks, Fort Force. Yeah, you can get banged out, right? You can get banged out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're like okay against elves. They've got bulls, but and they've you know the the chops have all got tackled, but the chops are all slow. Hobos can get banged out against anybody. <laughs> yeah, I need to go the whole loop pack. I need to go the whole loop pack advice. I need to go to the loop pack school of talking. Ah, oh, that's disappointing losing the toss, isn't it? We'll start off trying to play properly and then see if it, it's possible. Hmm. <laughs> what a fucking team. All the warriors. A block mighty on the LOS. Jesus. Really wanted to win the toss here, didn't I? Really wanted to win the toss. Vice versa. I mean, it's more likely whoever bangs. Whoever bangs wins, isn't it, is the most likely result. Jimmy get banged, but yeah, I mean, you know, it could get banged out and still win, that's possible, but more than likely whoever bangs wins, and whoever bangs first bangs hardest, probably. <laughs> he, who, he who bangs wins. <laughs> that's a good point, how does that feel, Al? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking cretin. <laughs> oh, God wins games. I mean, Clopham also win games, doesn't it? So does Edge Fall. And he's got all three. <laughs> he's got all fucking three. Edge Fall wins games. Fucking bull centaurs win games. Guard wins games. Clawpom wins games. He's got loads of guards. I'm gonna fucking nine guard. Jesus Christ. Hello, Cruz. Oh, here we go. Something a bit different for you, Cruz. Some claw, some uh, clawpom chops. Thank you very much for the massive raid. I saw you were back uh, streaming earlier. And I saw you were top chops again, despite hardly playing at all this season. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Oh, brilliant. Of course, the good player who had to go on the mate on the line gets cast and killed. Yeah. Great. 
great. <sighs> One left for a poem. Thank you very much, Chris. Help with the wide problem. Yeah, but the the block mate is still good, isn't it? He can get he can get he can get tackle. Maybe I shouldn't have appalled that. But I still don't want him to die. Like I don't want him to die. And I want players for the game, don't I? Like someone's gonna die. So it is what it is. Not blitzing with mighty blow. Who's disappointed? Mr. Page is disappointed, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to work out what the hell fub was, but then I worked it out. Oh dear. I don't know what CB is. I know what fub is though. I work. I worked out what fub is. <laughs> Dirty dog. Right. So only took one cars. Going great. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks, Fault Force. <laughs> oh, God, the fucking the hobbles, both hobbles up in guard is crazy, isn't it? Him having stand firm is annoying. Could blitz him into him, into him, but then it's just an extra guard hit. You know, I mean, stand firm is actually super annoying. If he didn't have stand firm, then the blitz around, one, two, three, four, fifth square hit into him, push him into here would have been great, wouldn't it? Now it's just blitz like an idiot. Blitz like an idiot, hope for the best. <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very rare. Very rare that we get a turn with 11 players on the pitch. <laughs> oh dear. He's gonna GFI at claw pommers now. Yeah, maybe I should have gone back one. No, he's not. Oh, he's got two claw pommers. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, that's why. That's why I didn't re-roll. I knew. I knew if I re-roll, I get a push. So best to leave him the push. Clever Jim. Clever Jim. Always thinking. Fireball. Yeah, fireball the cage. <laughs> the cage that has the claw bomb inside it instead of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's a fucking blodge ball, Jesus Christ. Blitzing the blodge ball doesn't seem exciting, does it? I was going to, you know, mark him, go there, blitz him into there, into there. But then if I blitz him, then he's exposed and he gets the claw pump and gets claw pump on the push. Which is not what we want. Mm. 
Oh, classic Jim. Fucking classic. This is a huge foul, but you'd have to do with the garter. But it's like an, it's an auto remove, basically. This will fail. I'm on the way. Boop, boop, boop. Not the best defense you've ever seen, is Side it? Side sister got stuck in a cage and surrounded <laughs> by a group of hairy dwarfs. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you, Ardon. Oh, dear. Yeah, Pedro, but it was it's one hit and it's you know, he's in you know, he's giving a claw palm hit back, isn't he? Or he's you know, it's it's either that or just I shouldn't have piled on. <laughs> it's either that or admit that I've done wrong in piling on. Maybe I shouldn't have piled on. I didn't want to give him such an easy foul though. Like that was a huge foul, I had to support him somehow. It's funny because obviously claw palm, like every claw mighty hit you give just seems terrible, but then like that's just a mighty blow hit to like Norse. And Norse take loads of mighty blow hits without getting removed. <laughs> On average they take about 42 fucking mighty blow hits without anybody ever getting removed, don't they? So you shouldn't really live in terror of uh, claw mighty. Good. So he gave that away, but that means he's, he's claw mate, he's getting claw pond, doesn't it? Potentially. Down three minutes. No, only, only down one man. Unbelievable, Jeff. Visualize, actualize, <laughs> come in our eyes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, dice, dice do. You know, like Norse do die sometimes. To be fair, just not ever when I fucking play them. <laughs> I'm gonna find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within Go on. Of their fucking life. Fucking die. Fucking die. Good enough. Oh yeah! Oh god. I love the ball. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck off. Problem is, he's definitely going to call upon me. Scary. All men's contact. Hup, hup. Base, base, base. Oh dear. Jazzles. I've never heard of jazzles. Tell you what I remember, which might be completely unrelated to jazzles. 
pretty unrelated, but somewhat similar actually is oh I do remember them. I didn't know they were called Jazzles. Um Wham bars, I remember. Yeah, I do remember Jazzles. I, I never knew they were called uh I never knew they were called Jazzles. I remember Wham bars. Amazing. I don't know how I never heard of them. Like I, I, I knew them. Looking at them, I've, I've eaten them before. Oh shit, he's got block. Not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Iron, with the iron brew bars. <laughs> I do not remember those. We're in Scotland only. <laughs> oh no, do you know what? I think I do remember that. I, I, there was a different one. I, I googled it and it's a different thing. I do remember Iron Brew Bars actually. I do fucking remember Iron Brew Bars. I do remember those. Rainbow Drops. I don't remember that rainbow drops. Oh, he's failed the dice roll. Right. Is this a wizard bait? <laughs> Just for Shawnee there. He can power him. And then he can power him. And he can chain him away. Does that work? There's only one way to find out. No, oh, I can't change him because of him. Shit. Claw my e blitz somewhere. Club Pomblix, maybe. Could foul him with one assist, two assists. Die, you piece of shit team. Stop fucking fighting everything. Ah! This is the weakest part, isn't it? Over there. All right, two assist foul. Let's go. Let's go, champs. <laughs> Good. I didn't think that would work. As soon as I did, I was like, this is stupid, he's got a fixed goal. But uh, it worked. He did not apple the badly hurt either. <laughs> Get off my fucking Wonderful. What a great player. What a great trade. Not a gym foul, an actual glorious foul. Hmm. Instant AV break in return. I mean, yeah, there's a gaping hole. Maybe he should have gone here. There's just a gaping hole down the centre. I mean, him getting the him getting the removal there, he still couldn't have got through if he hadn't got the removal. <laughs> oh well. Oh, now he gets to. 
get him maybe. So he's down two. Down two, but down two rookie goats. Oh no, down three. Yeah, because of the apple on him. So we've down three players. He's down two. Yeah, so maybe this guy should have been here. Then he'd been screening with him as well. Like, there wasn't much of a... There was a potato down this side, but there wasn't a break down that side, was there? Is he going to 1D? Or is he going to break tackle away? Okay, break tackle in 2D. Pardon. My problem is here, though. Greed. Greed. No, he did not greed it. Outrageous. Outrageous non-greed there. But where does the ball go? Where does the ball go here? That's what I want to know. On the floor. Greed this one. Brilliant. Well worth it. Fuck's sake. And then get wrestled, because I've greeted it. Fuck's sake. Fucking hell, fault forcing out me more peas in a pod, aren't they? <laughs> really could have done with a pow and a kaz there. If that'd be if that had been like a power and a removal like he got over there, if that had been a power and removal, then he could have come through on the ball, which would be nice. Or at least just a round. Would have been better than standing up here and getting fucked. Armour 7 getting stunned because of his art minus armour. Wonderful. Odds in a pad. Damage is uh, one of the rerolls is gone. Got two rerolls. Uh, two rerolls. Two apples. One of the apples is gone. A send off and a KO. So not bad at all. Um, and then KO to Claw Mighty Garda. And Kazde Claw Palm Garder as well. So, like, the quality of the removals is much better. Uh, hey! Oh, no, it wasn't! It wasn't! It wasn't! Oh, it wasn't. I couldn't believe it. I thought he's failed show sure feet. <laughs> Normally, when you see that animation, they fail the show sure feet, but he'd already failed the show sure feet. He'd already used show sure feet and then rolled a double one after that. Unbelievable. Right. Well, this is now looking rather good, isn't it? Instant pylon, thank you very much. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then make a cage for him somehow. This is the claw pommer. 
I can't hit anybody else, I have to hit him. Oh, fuck off. Good. Very good. Ball leader. She just called him Morida. I'd have saved him time. Alright, so can he hit the bunny? Yeah, they can both hit. Oh, I should have uh, maybe GFI'd with him. Greed the hits now, late in the half. Love to see it. Yeah, I should have GFI so we can hit him. I'm just relying on that. I guess he can dodge now. So he can just go GFI for the Guardian. Probably shouldn't have greeted it, should I? The ballon is in security. A l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Okay. Few. Yeah, I should have GFI with the ball carrier. That was stupid. I was just stupid, wasn't it, letting him hit. Should have double GFI'd with him and just got him away. Alright. I mean, his his score is looking hard, at least. This is his drive. No, oh, and he's just got a GFI around that way anyway, so... Hmm. Yeah, if only I'd, if I'd double GFI'd... Then it just looks amazing, doesn't it? Over here and totally untouchable. And then that dodge would have gone there and it would have been an almost certain score. Now he's going to pop the ball. But I mean, at least, again, that's like, at least now he's blitzing with the ball. He's not blitzing with claw palm. And he's blitzing like a shitty beast man with a ball. So, like, that's good for winning the fight. That's a disappointing scatter. <laughs> He's got so much guard as well. Holy shit. That's the power there. Yeah, so he's got his scoring threat. Um, oh, he was stunned. Oh, fucking didn't realize he was stunned. Right, so he claws him. He blocks him. And he blocks him. And then nobody... Nobody scores. <laughs> We need the pow here. Hey. Oh, 
He doesn't need to block him, does he? But it's all right. Do I have to double GFI? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have to double GFI. Mm -hmm. Got to make one GFI though. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. Maybe I should have GFI'd again to get away from him. But without a reroll, I didn't want to do it. Nah, I should have done, shouldn't I? I should have done because this is the this is the obvious play. It's the only thing he's going to do, and he's got a reroll for it. So the GFI is better, isn't it? Like he's definitely got a better chance than me feeling a, me feeling a GFI here with a reroll. Oh God! Look a dog! Look a dog! Jim makes totally the wrong play. Not punished. That was terrible. I had to I had to make the GFI there. I just asked fell out without having the reroll. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I shouldn't have stood him up, should I? Oh, it's an uphill. Oh, not to me him there. Fuck. Yeah, I really shouldn't have stood him up. Because now he gets to follow and get away from the claw palm. I think I get the claw palm his bull, maybe. Oh, he doesn't even follow. Right. He should have blitzed, shouldn't he? Oh, he's got a Alright, I'll let me off. Completely pointless claw mighty hit. Of course, it's not pointless. He gets that guy out of there. Now, I could have put it. If I'd done 2D on him, I might end up powered him though, then I could have chained and got an extra square forward. Right, so it is double GFI. I've got to, I've got to try, haven't I? I've got to try. Glorious. And he's down a claw pummer and he's 1 0 down and we're receiving and still got the whiz in hand. Glorious. Shit. Okay, that's a shame that he came back. But, you know, never mind. At least, at least one guard has stayed out. He's down to 10 now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, he's down at ten. Double one fucked me. Yep. Yeah, it did, didn't it? He did, he did double one. And it wasn't just a double one, it was a one after he'd already popped your feet, so it was a double one that cost him his re-roll as well. <laughs> yeah, Mengo, yes, beat the gobbles because he just he just made a fucking blockless block without a re-roll before scoring. 
crazy. There's still time. There's still time, Leap BB. There's still time. But so far, I mean, there's been a distinct lack of banging on both sides, really. Um, he hasn't used his apple. I've used one apple. But hopefully the LOS. Hopefully they lo the, there's some LOS banging here. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, it's a good record, yeah. It's a good record. For sure. Yeah, exactly. He's still got the balls. Like, it, he can still easily win. Well, it's not so easy to win. He can still easily draw. Yeah, that's the thing, like, once you get this TV, you're more likely to spin it in the chaos over and over again, aren't you? And then it's not that good a matchup for the, uh, for the old chaffs. Even though he's got a real good team, it's not that surprising to not have an outstanding record. Like, it's still a good record, like, saying how has he lost six times, it is a good record. But, like, it's hard to maintain the record at high TV, just because it's so swingy, isn't it? Like, it's super, super swingy. Yeah, so you can blitz either one. I need to bang him out here, this would be glorious. I need some glorious banging out of men. Oh baby. Catching the ball is very good. Pushing, stand firm, guys, not so good. Three, four, five, six. I can't make it three dice unless he blitzes. So then go there to cover against the dub skulls. Eat the boat down here. I'll just blitz him. Get the power. Simple. Oh. Oh. Fucking stone. Oh, no, pardon. Il est à terre. Only fucking stunned. Like it's all right. They're slow. Can get away from them next turn a bit. That was a disappointing LOS. 
Like stuns are fine, and you should be happy with stuns, but you're not happy with stuns because you want to bang people out. <laughs> Wizard the bodies. <laughs> no, obviously the wizard's got to be saved for one of the bulls when they do something good. Or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you've got when you've got claw pommer stun isn't very good, is it? And I know they've got fixed skull, but like you really want to be removing players because he's probably going to remove one with his blitz back, isn't he? Because he's got claw pommer as well. Like that's an element of it, isn't it? That's the thing. It's like it's the fact that his counter blitz is so is so dangerous. At, at rookie TV, they're not likely to remove your players. You're not likely to remove them. They're not likely to remove you. So it's kind of okay. But now he's going to claw on you back. And he's probably going to remove you. So you kind of do want to remove him <laughs> when you get to hit him with your four hits, and especially when you're going prone to do it as well. I think I've got a good player here, depending on what he does with the rest of his turn. <laughs> Hello, Art. Yeah, Lupak actually exists, yeah. Is he still playing? I saw he was playing earlier. The servers for, uh, the servers for Albion must be down, mustn't they? Let's have a look. I'll be online. No, there's people. There's people playing it. How bizarre. plan was that might still be my plan here wait a second don't think I've got enough players to do it now Try it anyway, because it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> Hello. Hello, cheeky. Right. Ooh, how are you doing? Right, this pull. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, you can't get that far anyway. One, two, three. Oh, you've just got to stand these up. Tackle through this way. Can't do that. Three assist foul. Could make it a four assist foul. And protected by guard as well. But then he could do chains of his own maybe to do something clever. So maybe not do that.
three assist for now. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Jim Fowl. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> A fucking Jim Fowl, of course it is. All that to set up a fucking gang foul. And it was just shit. Better than run the double three on the on the armor, I guess. Got a Kaz from it as well. Fuck's sake. So I lost two players doing that move. I was quite happy with it. I was quite proud of that move. <laughs> Even though it fucked me. Even though it completely fucked me. <laughs> oh, good. I guess he's stunned for a turn. Is a one. His ball's got guard, of course it does. First things first. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Que faire Un adversaire cornu lancé à pleine vitesse. Tu vises entre les deux yeux. Make one GFI this turn. And one GFI next. Good. Right, he can 1D him so that he can then 1D him. That seems terrible. He can 1D him so he can 1D him. And then maybe he can 2D him. And then he could 1D him. This as well, fuck it. Oh, baby. I can't actually power because I need to cancel his assist. Hey! Oi, 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 Right, this could be a pal. This could be a one D pal. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick! <laughs> and I think this one puts us in a better spot in the way of the uh, ball. Okay. 
Nice removal there though, Rando removal. Well, I mean, it was call mighty, but still. <laughs> it wasn't a super relevant block, was it? Base the ball technique. Could see a bolt here. And then GFI, and then 2 0 up, it's over, isn't it? Basically, he's baiting out my wizard here, isn't he? <laughs> I guess he's got the other bowl that can break tackle or whatever. Hey. That was a lovely non fair. I don't need a bolt here, right? This is just a 2D. Oh no, I need the power there. Mm, so maybe bolt the stand firm guy and then blitz the other guy for a push. Yeah, I think bolt the stand firm. Because otherwise it's a 55%er, isn't it? And then if you don't get the knockdown on the claw hit, it's pretty shit. You can dodge the ball, but it's hard. He's got to double dodge it, hasn't he? He's got to double dodge the ball, thanks to getting that both down. Which maybe he should have re-rolled. Burns the break tackle, so the next one's a four plus. Look at dog. Right, now I could just fireball all three and see what happens. I don't hate that. Should knock somebody down. <laughs> right. So with the blitz here, it doesn't really matter who blitzes, does it? Literally doesn't matter who blitzes. It's the same situation having a dodge and GFI. So I might as well blitz with him and do it first. Hey. Right. Well, that really fucking sucks, doesn't it? To have. Uh, Use the fucking reroll.
Yeah, in case of a 1 in 9, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If it's a 1 in 9, I want to be able to re-roll it to get the push. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I didn't like that GFI there, but hey. Right, 2 0 up, it's basically over, isn't it? And didn't like not giving, not having the hits there, but. Right, 2 0, wizard gone, but. It's. It's mostly over, isn't it? It's going to be really hard for him. He's got to score in 2 and then turn us over in 2 as well. Oh, yeah! So it's super. Oh, hard God. Him. I love Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah. Nearly got a sure runs guy. Is is Blodge better than Block Mighty? Is the question. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Because he can get tackle. Nah, but I don't know, it's quite nice having a ball carrier, isn't it? Block Guard is close to Block Guard Mighty. I guess it's worth keeping the carrier. Right, one, two, three, four. So we can't hit any of these with claw palm. And he's still got a blitz one to get in a kind of good scoring position. Whew. Yeah, one SPP. Like having a blood show hands is nice, isn't it? It is nice having a blood show hands. It does make offensive. It adds a certain amount of safety to offensive drums. Like if the block might use at 30, I guess, to save him because he's so close to tackle. It was a bit of a shit wizard, wasn't it? Only hit. Only hit like. Only knocked, it knocked only one out of three, but it was more likely to do something than the ball. The ball only hits. The ball only knocks over one person 83% of the time, doesn't it? Whereas with those three, you're looking at 97 and a half. No. 87 and a half. It knocks over somebody, and, and obviously it can knock over two or three. So with three targets, the wizard. I'm sure was the right, the five ball, I'm sure was the right player. Like, it, it knocked over the least good one to knock over out of all three. But, um, it was still good, I think. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, good point. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> yeah, probably Team Antilla, yeah. I mean, there's still time for these guys to delete people here, isn't there? Don't want him to score in two. Because it could technically be a draw, couldn't it? So we have to do everything to stop him scoring here. And he's surely he's going to be blitzing with claw pommel. Maybe I should have put the guard central so they could have reacted. Oh, he's not blitzing the core on Bizarre. That's terrible, isn't it? Artemis would have a heart attack there. Like, you have to blitz the core on You just have to, because at the moment, I can just knock these two down with blocks. Wow. Big, big mistake. Not blitzing the claw pun. Ces joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Ah, parfait. Il a le ballon bien en main. C'est toujours un peu navrant quand il rate quelque chose. In my not so humble opinion. Okay. 
I guess I guess I'm an extra man as well. So. Could dodge and hit him. He can GFI hit him. It seems wise. I guess don't greed. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? It's like, he's not as good at scoring as these, so I guess hitting one of these is more important. That is disappointing. died a little inside when I saw that. Like he's still got a decent, a really good shot at scoring, hasn't he? It's just a handoff to score. But at the end of the day, not that bothered by it because needed the rerolls to protect the ball. Oh god, yeah, yeah, it was the Kegel I added. I was watching it. I watched a total Warhammer stream and I tried to, I tried to click something on the screen. So yeah, definitely. Hey, irrelevant two DB. Wonderful. Now he's got no reroll for the handoff. You'll love to see it. You love to see it, and it's a GFI, so it's three-two without rerolls. Glorious. Yes! <laughs> I thought he'd done it then. I don't know why I just thought he'd succeeded. Oh, he got the ball back! <laughs> he got the ball back. Classic. Oh man, that's anti-social. It's going for the foul. His guard is annoying, isn't it? So two D him and then go there. So basically giving him the score, but then got the rerolls for the two turns to protect it.
really need to get the power there. Obviously, with the power there, then can do the one D two plus to get him out of the way, and then could have got two D on the ball, and then I would have re-rolled it with two D on the ball. Blitz and a draw could indeed happen. He does have to roll dice though now, he's got no reroll himself has he, so... Could fail. This is going to be an annoying death. Not yet. Of course he Doesn't even kill him. Glorious. GFI, if he fails this GFI and dies. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. Ah yes, puts the guys in. Clever. The Shawnee, the classic Shawnee. Why not get the claw pond? Because he'd just get knocked over. He'd just get claw pond in himself. Claw knighted or whatever. Don't care, I'll give him the score. <laughs> See, the fringe commentary's better. So banged on removals wise, with three removals, but two were self removals from fouls, which to be fair did get a, did get a count. So now it's what is it? Nine versus ten. And he has got bulls. But of course the only thing to think about is not getting fucked by Blitz and perfect defense and stuff, so I can just fully try to protect the ball. Should be alright. Should be. That is just your opinion, yeah, thought plus, yeah. Yeah. I remember you saying uh, when it when it happened, Fault Force, in January of last year, when I was like, "Oh, this COVID seems pretty serious," and you were like, "Nah, it's nothing." <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Odon was like, "Nah, it's nothing," as well. But there you go. But it turns out Jimmy was right. Not really happy about it, but there you go. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the race. <laughs> burr, burr, burr. The thing is, if you don't put someone on all three of these, then they can activate on the Blitz, can't they? J'aurais peut-être quelque chose de profond à dire quand les joueurs se. Yeah, no, obviously I would have preferred your reality, Fault Force. Oh, 
devastated in there. Fucking devastated him. Right. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Got the ball. I'd love to see it. Just, I guess, make him completely unhittable. Unbaseable, unhittable. No need to go too far in the corner. He's not bitching, no, he's not bitching. GG. <laughs> no, I barely played Camry ever. Uh, Kander Zord, or, no, hardly any, hardly any Camry actually. Played about three games in Blood Bowl 2 with Camry, and then on Fumble I've hardly played any Camry either. I, I fucking decay just fucks me off. He's saying GG, he's not giving up yet, obviously. Because he's got he can get the ball in scoring range, can't he? Anything can happen. Once he's got the ball in scoring range. And this other guy, but you know. Uh, right, here's me stats, no. What is it? Rankings. Kemry. Maybe I've never played no, I've definitely played them a little bit. Where's Kemry? I've played 14 games of Kemri on a, on Fumble and 3 in Blood Bowl 2. That's why I can't give Ogre advice here, man. It's the Ogre advice that I can't give. <laughs> no Ogre advice if you haven't played Kemri. <laughs> ah, it's, uh, it's... It's... It's this. Three games, one, one, one. And I'm 4-4-6 four, four, on Fumble. <laughs> exactly, Maradam. It's all about it's all about the Camry games. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Fair enough, Femi, fair enough. Good old Crusher. So he does have a scoring threat, and now he's got two. So it's not over, despite him saying GG. No, man, he uses his BT. D him, blitz him, 2D him. Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. He doesn't mean the GG, there's no way he's giving up, obviously. Get in. Oosh. Goodbye, Edge 4. <laughs> Wonderful. What a glorious day. Killed him. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. That killed him. 
Oh man, that's pretty nice. Maybe should have taken the maybe should have taken the loss. <laughs> he should have meant the GG. He should have meant it. Oh yeah! Oh, Silly boy God. not meaning the GG. Oh yeah. Alright, so the bulls are both tagged. So they've got a double dodge. Or, or like, you know, fucking dodge after they've received it, whatever. Glorious. <laughs> Never try exactly, Shawnee. Never ever try. The first, the best rule of Blood Bowl is just never try. Should have used the Zapoth. Yeah, he should have done, shouldn't he? Yeah, I fucking hate. Honestly, I hate that Apples can fail. It's so stupid, isn't it? It's so stupid that Apples can fail. It's it's so annoying. It's so annoyingly horrible that Apples can just fail. Stupid. I mean, to be fair, if he scores here, hats off to him. This is going to take some solid RNG, no rerolls. <laughs> Six plus into the cage. <laughs> nice, nah, so he's going for the, the six, 3 plus 6 plus with Wrestle, 1D. No, he's not. He's going for this one. Uh, he, he could have still scored, couldn't he? He was on the fourth left square, so he could have he could have gone the touch. I thought he was going to score on him, and he was going to try and pop it. And then he was, the other pop was not trying to get him. Visualize, actualize, apple for eyes. Glorious. No, exactly. It isn't Hortek. Yeah, apart from misery, so that I can understand them making giving it a roll, because yeah. The nature of Blood Bowl is nothing's, nothing's certain, um, but I think Apple's working being certain would be fine, to be honest. But there you go, that was good wasn't it? I, I quite heavily outblocked him, and didn't really outremove him that well, but it's uh, the strength 4 isn't it, you know, had a fair bit of guard, and had all the strength 4 and he didn't have strength 4, he made 34 GFIs. <laughs> and that double one fucked him to be fair and the fire that you know I scummed the wizard uh yeah did I no, I didn't really I scummed the apple more than the wizard I did scum the wizard a little bit but then I full scum to get the apple as well which I didn't use seven GFIs past them all outrageous dice that's the craziest dicing ever when that's happened you know you're fucked what's that 32 35 34 nice nice block dice 24, 23, 24, so fine block dice. So there you go, I was pretty happy, pretty happy with that win. I did, I did scum the, I did scum. I was like 130 down and scummed 120 to get the wizard and the, uh, wizard and the apple. To be fair, with one apple, the block mighty would have died. Um, if I'd only had one apple, the block mighty would have died. So it did pay off. Because uh, I wouldn't have apple that instantly on turn one. Um, so could go mighty blow on him again you see this is the problem like it's just it's just mvps man he's had four mvps i haven't really like haven't built wide it's just it's just happened to have gone wide um <laughs> hello htk right that's it glorious win there gg pistakopu thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic